Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Auto Pot Grove, which is still not ready to harvest. And I'll be doing some training on the Monster Crop Cafe Racer, and we'll do some training on the Auto Flowers. <music> Okay guys, so uh, first off we'll just take a look at the uh, Cafe Racers and the Agent Orange in the Auto Pot system and see how they're looking this week. Okay guys, so here we are. We have again in the back the Cafe Racers from Rocket Seeds. Now these are nine weeks into flower and uh, still not quite ready yet. I think next week they'll be ready uh, as well as the Agent Orange from SunWest Genetics. Uh, still probably a week out so uh, we won't spend too much time in here but we'll take a little closer look here uh, this one is the one we did the swazing technique on now they've grown a fair bit in the last week of course we have some tomatoes here kind of in the way this one here probably is doing the worst of them all uh, just because of the way it was grown if I had grown this with synthetic newts drained to waste uh, it would have it would have produced a lot different result. Uh, this one we have the the uh, Kyle Cushman technique. This one uh, probably probably is going to be the uh, the biggest uh, weight as far as the grows go. I've been feeding these guys drain to waste for the last almost two weeks, uh, and I've seen a huge difference. Now I'm using prescription blend nutrients for these. Now these are growing in kryptonite organic living soil. Uh, that worked very well all through veg. They vegged like crazy and uh, grew massive. And uh, But once they were in flower for a few weeks, uh, I think it just ran out of steam. But we also had these in veg for, I believe it was six weeks. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably ten weeks worth of food in that soil, uh, in my opinion. Uh, just in my experience. Do I recommend it? Sure do. Uh, that stuff is great. Uh, like I said in veg, they just blew up with just feeding water. And even the first the first little bit in flower, uh, it did great. Which would be fine if you were growing. If I would have flipped these at four weeks and they were indicas, so they only had 12 week grow period, then that would have been enough in the kryptonite grow soil to grow pretty much from start to finish so i mean that's amazing i i've never used another soil that could do that with just feeding water so uh i really highly do recommend the kryptonite grow soil now these took longer because for one they're sativa dominant and uh we also veg them longer than than the four weeks so this one is probably going to be the biggest yield now it's frosty enough looks pretty decent and I didn't show you the, the swazing technique one close up. Not bad. You know, pretty good pretty good powder there. Nice trichome production. Now let's look over at the one where we just defoliated and lollipopped. This one is by far the the stickiest, the smelliest, the frostiest. And uh, this one is gonna be be really good smoke i can tell that it just the smell of it the potency so let's take a quick look at the agent orange these have like i said uh being sativa dominant which i which i had forgotten about i, I usually grow indicas uh mainly so i was assuming they'd be done out of eight weeks this is nine weeks uh, uh sativa dominant or sativa cannabis plants can go you know 12 14 weeks sometimes i think this one is going to take about 10 i I think they're they're just about done, but I'm going to give them that extra week. So uh, next week they we should be harvesting these girls. Uh, same same as the Agent Orange. Now she's looking pretty good, pretty frosty. Got a lot of small buds here, but uh, the small buds are all not too bad in in themselves. Uh, they're all exposed to the light, and uh, they're all pretty much finishing up at the same time so that one's not too bad and we have the other agent orange here which is uh is doing pretty well also and uh we'll just take a look here at 
little close up look here not bad at all so these will be done in uh, probably next week I'm assuming so uh, now we'll get on with the main show where we'll be checking out the monster crop and the auto flowers okay guys so here is the uh, the two and a half by five foot tent uh, now these are growing under the SP Marsh Hydro SP 3000 uh, doing great in this size tent uh, if you want to check them out, I have a link in the description. Also, a discount code that will save you a few dollars at checkout. So, let's take a look at these plants. We have the two in the front here. Now, this one here, this one here, and this one here. These are right around six weeks. Uh, this one back here is about a half a week behind. And uh, totally different structure on that one, but we'll look at that in a minute. So, the front ones are CBD Critical Mass. And uh, this one here, this one's been in flower just about two weeks now. And this one's been in flower for, well, it's just starting to go into flower now. As well as the Girl Scouts Cookies Extreme back here. And also a Girl Scout Cookies Extreme here. Now these, all four of these plants are from ilovegrowingmarijuana.com. Uh, I have a link in the description for them as well if you want to check out those genetics. Uh, they're doing really well. This is my first time growing a CBD strain. And uh, this one here, uh, it's, I really like the structure of this. I mean, it's short. Now, this is stacked up really well. So, I think we're going to get some really nice, nice colas off of this. Uh, it does need to be opened up. I am going to wait. I'm going to leave this for another week. Uh, that At that point, it'll be done at stretch. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to open that up. And we'll tie it down also a little bit. And we'll do that next week. Now this one here, this is just starting to go into flower. Uh, these ones, most of these barely have any hairs on it. We can see though we're starting to build up a little bit of buds here on the main top there. Now I'll probably clean this out uh, throughout the week. The same as the uh, girls... Girl Scouts Cookies Extreme uh, throughout the week. This is in pretty much pretty close to the same level as this one. We can see there's not a lot of hairs on any of these down here, but the main top we got a little bit of buds, little tiny buds produced in there. So, so I probably will go through uh, sometime later on today and just pick out just a few leaves and just open it up. So now this one, this one won't take much. Uh, I'm just gonna pull out. Just a couple of these bigger leaves. Most of, mostly, again, the ones that are face uh, growing towards the middle of the plant. Now they're hiding, like you can see this here is hiding all that stuff, right? So I'm just going to go through here just really quick. And just pick off just a few of these, just a handful of these. And then we're going to probably leave it go until until after it's three weeks into flower so you can see we've kind of opened up all those little bud sites there now one thing i do want to do though is with with this one and this one we can see the canopies are pretty flat except for that one except for that main top which shot up shot back up same as this one it's pretty flat except for that one so what i'm going to do i'm just going to reach in here and i'm going to go probably right around here I'm going to squeeze that a little bit. Soften that up a little bit. And I'm going to push that. Just bend it right over. Okay? So I will clean out just a few of these later on today. Uh, just to open it up like we did this one. And now this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come down about here. I'm going to squish that a little bit. Give it a little bit of a roll. Squish it, make it pliable so it doesn't snap. We're going to bend that down there. Okay, so now when we look at it, except for this leaf right here, it's pretty flat, right? We got a pretty even canopy, same as this, pretty even canopy. So that's all I'm going to do with those ones today. Now the main thing I do want to do is this one here. Now this one has not gone into flower yet at all. Uh, we can just see just tiny hairs, just tiny hairs on these 
top buds here so it's showing pre-flower but it is not it's not going into flower quite yet so i do want to pull this one out of there and i want to clean this is very congested this is very thick as you can see so i do want to clean this out a little bit pull off some of them leaves probably take off some of the limbs i definitely clean out underneath lollipop it a little bit and uh just get it ready for flower that's what we're going to do with that one and i also want to take out this monster crop here this is the monster crop cafe racer from rocket seeds there's also a link in the description if you're interested in the cafe racers and uh i just want to pull this one out i want to flip this one fairly soon so basically i want to pull it out uh, i want to do the same thing with this one as i'm doing with this one because this one I will be putting in 12-12 and flipping it. I want to start keeping my plants a little bit shorter. So we'll take that one out too and we will, we will process that and trim that down. Okay guys, I'm just going to give you just a sneak peek down here. Now these are just a few cuttings that I took off three weeks into flower. Now it's taken probably a month to get to this stage. I just basically stuck it in here. Uh, dipped it in some rooting hormone did not put a cover on it or anything just stuck them in here and water them every day and uh it took a while but they finally took so this is a reveg and this is a o this is an agent orange so this is the uh the agent orange that we have in the other tent that's not in the web grow system so uh I'm going to be transplanting this week this transplanting that into a bigger pot this week we have this one here which you can see just some new single leaves coming out there this looks like it's agent orange as well and we have this one which i'm not sure if it's doing anything yet or not but uh, we'll just keep uh man my hands are shaking so this is from the Cafe Racer, the one that we uh, just lollipopped and defoliated. So I really hope this one takes. And I think there is a little bit of new growth there. So we're just going to keep them watered. I am going to transplant this first one up here. Uh, I'll do that through the week, put it into a five-gallon pot, and uh, we'll get that one on its journey. Very interesting to see these things grow out. The, the single leaves and... And as they grow out more leaves, they'll be all twisted and stuff. So anyway, they're really cool to see. Okay, guys. So now what I'm going to do is I will set you guys on the tripod. Uh, we're going to pull out. I'm going to pull out this one first and work on this. And then we'll work on the monster crop. Okay, guys. So here we are. This is the Girl Scout Cookies Extreme from ilovegrowingmarijuana.com. Um, I really do not like these handles on these bags uh, i really like the bags i got from uh, as420.com because they just had the the purple handle down here which you could still grab just as easily and it didn't interfere with your plant growth or your training so uh i'm actually gonna cut i'm gonna cut these right off i just really don't like these okay same on this side going to get rid of those you don't need it anyway you can just pick it up from the side so no big deal all right so what am i going to do here i'm going to get rid of some of these top bigger leaves so that we can see what we have to work with here so we'll cut this one it's so full up here you can't even really see what's going on so uh, i'm gonna cut all this top stuff here
Okay. So mostly we're just taking the the big ones off so that we can see what we got here because you can't see you can't even see anything okay so this will be flipping soon now we had topped this once right down in here at the very top we had topped it there so we have it just kind of grew out everywhere it's very very bushy so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm not I, now that i see what's in here I'm not going to do as much as I thought I was going to do. Um, it's really hard to like pull anything down. Because the, the inner nodal space is so short that it's just growing one on top of the other. So I think all I'm going to do, just open up some of these, some of these bud sites. And then I think that's going to be it. Uh, I think that's going to be it. Because within probably, I would say within a week or so, this is going to go into flower. And then we're going to get our flowering stretch. So what's going to happen is all this stuff, it's, it's fairly consistent height. Even the, the branches down below, like this is a branch from down below but it's the same height as the branch on top here and uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it go into flower as is and then when that happens and the stretch happens then all these nodes are gonna stretch way up here and leave a lot of this bushiness behind a lot of the any of the leaves down here will stay down here but these growth shoots these are going to climb right up fast. So at that point, I think they're going to kind of grow up and separate themselves from the main, the main plant itself. So at that point, it's going to be a lot easier to get in there, be able to move them out and say, okay, well, this one's, you know, this one's where we want it. This one's still way down here. So at that point, we'll, we'll take them out. But I think what we'll do is just let the natural process of the flowering stretch do its thing. And then we'll, then we'll take a look at it and uh, trim up after the flower stretch. So I, I would like to take off more to let more airflow down in there. But um, might take a couple of these bottom ones off here just to make it easier for, for watering and feeding. Okay, and that will also allow a little bit more airflow down in through here too. And also those handles, they were blocking a lot and kind of pushing everything in. So um, I think that's going to be it. So when we see this from up top here, uh, all we did was take off a lot of the bigger leaves that were blocking all these bud sites. And we're just going to leave that go, let the natural process happen. And then do tr more training after that. I don't think, I don't think anything that we do now is going to benefit the plant as much as if we just leave it until after the flowering stretch. So I'll stick this one back in as is, and we'll bring up that monster crop clone and see what we can do with that one. Okay, so we have the monster crop clone, quite bushy. What are we going to do with this, eh? Okay, so what I think I'm going to do with this is uh, I'm just going to, I am going to clean out some of the bottom, uh, some of the growth down there, some of the leaves. 
any small shoots, but there shouldn't be too many down there. But, uh, yeah, we clean that out. And then I think I am going to... I'm going to grab a hold of a couple of these side ones here. Tie them down. And open it up a little bit. And then we'll... And then we'll see about any leaves that we have to take off. Now, first off, I'm going to take out this sticker. So, we had treated these with the diatomaceous earth, and then we used the predator mites on these to get rid of the gnats. And I put a new one in right after I put in the mites. I caught these for the first couple of days, and then that was it. I None of these are fresh. Um, so, I think we pretty much combat it this whole gnat issue uh that was in the small tent in the big tent there's none again we caught a couple the next day after we put the predator mites in there and then i haven't seen one since so nothing flying around at all so those predator mites uh worked very very well so and i didn't use the diatomaceous earth in the big tent just the mites and uh I put new stickers in all of them right after I did that. So let me grab the sticker from the tomato plant here. So this was this was the big tent. And those were all caught like the day or two after. And then not once since. So, so I think we're done with the fungus gnats. So very good. I think I will keep this in the uh, tomato plant. Just because, just in case something does happen or something comes in from outside, maybe it'll get stuck on that. Okay, so, okay, I just want to show you guys down here, the bottom here. Now, this was the Monster Crop clone, took one week into flower. And we can see actually some of the, uh, some of the remnants of uh, the bud itself are all up in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get that as much of that out of there as I can this little stuff clean that area out just because we don't we don't really want that sitting in there and uh, potentially trapping moisture and you know having a mold issue so uh, I'm gonna just take take a few minutes and try to uh, clean out that area Now I could use this as a clone if I wanted more cafe racers. So that's another reason uh, to grow, to take a clone, even if it's in flower, is if you want to continue it on, you just take clones off of this. And on a monster crop, there is no, no shortage of clone material. Okay, so I'm going to tie down a few of these. Just open up that the whole bush. So I'm going to use... Uh, so I'm going to use pipe cleaners. And uh, I have one pack of green ones. I'm going to use them up. And then I'm going to change colors. Because somebody uh, had mentioned in the comments uh, a really good point is... If I use green, it's kind of hard to distinguish the pipe cleaner from the plant because they're both the same color. So I think that was really a good suggestion is to use a different color plant, uh, different color 
pipe cleaner. So I will do that next time. I'll pick some up. And we'll pull this side down a little bit. We'll just grab it in here somewhere. And there we go. Open that up. And grab this one and we'll pull this one down a little bit too. So I'm gonna I'm going for the the tallest one. And just pull that down. And this side. We'll pull this one down a little bit. Okay, and sometimes if you if you see something that you just don't like, um, say this one, it's a little bit higher than the rest, just kind of pull it down. You know, it'll it'll come back up, but by the time it comes back up, that'll give the rest a little bit of time to kind of catch up to it. So, you know, it doesn't hurt just to just to kind of pull them down where you want them. Right? Just kind of bend them a bit. Now, this isn't super cropping. I'm not actually bending them 90 degrees. I'm just kind of pulling them down a bit. And they tend to stay there for a while and they'll work their way back up. But that'll give, give everything else a little more time to uh, catch up to it. If they're just a little bit, just a little bit beyond, above the rest. So that's pretty good right there. So there we go. So we've opened that up a fair bit. Uh, I'm not, I don't see too many leaves here that I have to take out. I did take a couple out uh, as I did that, just any big, really big ones. But uh, for the most part, it's not bad. Everything's pretty open here. Uh, it's pretty, pretty flat. So we got a decent canopy here. Now we can see this one here, just a little bit higher. I'm going to bend that over a little bit. So now it's it's down a little bit lower there, right? So we just bent it down. So that'll give time for everything else to come back up and match it. So that's all we're going to do with this one. Cleaned out down there. Clean that out pretty good. And uh, yeah, we'll stick it back in the tent. Okay, guys. So uh, we took a few off of this Girl Scouts Cookies Extreme. Uh, we took some off the top here, and we're going to let that one go uh, till it's done its flower stretch because it's so congested that I want to see what's going to come up and what's not before we start taking things off of it. And then the monster crop, we just basically just opened that up, tied down a few branches, took off a few leaves, cleaned out underneath a bit, and uh, now she's ready to flower. So this week I'll be, I will be moving this one back to the big tent. I will be transplanting at least one of these monster crops down here that's ready to be transplanted and uh, we'll put that one into the place of this so okay guys so that's it for this one did a little bit of training looked at the auto pot grow the cafe racers and the agent orange uh, which is from SunWest genetics feel free to check out any of the plants that you see in here uh, there's links in the descriptions for them any of the lights that I'm using, there's a link in the description for them too under Mars Hydro uh, with a promo code there that will save you a few bucks at checkout. So feel free to check them out also. 
So don't forget to come back next week. I'm pretty sure next week will be the actual harvesting time for those Cafe Racers and Agent Oranges. Uh, pretty sure they'll be ready at that point. And uh, after that, I'm going to be moving the auto flowers into the big tent. And I'll be setting up my Myers Hydro SP6500 into that tent. So be sure to come back next week to see all of that. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and uh, share this video if you like. And if you're not subscribed at this point, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Okay, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.